everyone. Hi. We're going to do another science experiment today. Hey, are you two still in your pajamas? Yeah. <laughs> don't you know at work you have to put on real clothes? No. No, you don't have to? Okay, yeah. I guess not. This is called moldable plastic. I have never done this before, so we'll see. We have very hot milk right here. So I'm going to hold this so nobody gets burned. It's not boiling, but it's very hot. It's one cup of milk. We're going to add four teaspoons of white vinegar that I brought from home. And we're going to mix it very carefully. So you guys are going to help me mix. Oh, we've got the finger snap. <laughs> All right, this is a teaspoon measure. So Autumn, can you get one teaspoon of vinegar and pour it in for me? Okay, and then another one. Measure it, measure, so be careful. Okay, good, pour that in, but don't touch it to the milk. Okay, Autumn, your turn. Can you do two Violet. teaspoons? I mean, Violet. Violet, two teaspoons go in there. Right here, no fall. No, is that a full teaspoon? No. no. When you measure, watch, watch. It's getting harder. Oh, whoopsies. We'll do it like that. Now pour it in. How many will that make? We put two. Now what's next? Three. And what happened to counting? What comes after three? Four. Four. Can you do it without spilling? All right, go ahead. Pour it in. All right, all of it. Here, you measure like I do. Okay, now take your spoons and very gently mix the hot milk with the one cup with the four teaspoons of white vinegar. Ooh, look at, look at, it's getting curdly. It looks kind of like cottage cheese. The vinegar is an acid. It's reacting with the casein in the milk. Ooh. And it is making a solid that, that in this recipe is called a blob. So we're going to pour it after, after they mix for one minute. That's 60 seconds. We're not going to count to 60. No. Nah, that's a lot, huh? So, all right. Do you see solids forming in there? All right, let's get it all off your spoon. It's still very hot, so we can't really touch it yet. But now is when we strain it. So take your spoon out and put it down. <clears throat> we have a strainer in a bowl, and we're going to pour it in. Wow. Kind of like curds and whey, huh? I think it is curds and whey. So this, these are the blobs that are formed. See, the liquid is still coming out of it, and it's still very warm. Supposedly, this is moldable plastic. That's so, a liquid? Well, this, that's a liquid. That's a solid, right? This, we can do something. Let me feel how hot it is. It's still pretty hot. We're going to wait for it to cool a little is bit. Is that hot? It's warm. Uh. Yeah. You can pop all the liquid out, and all that's left is the solid, and... This is kind of like plastic, a moldable plastic. Yeah, kind of like touch it. Like, kind of like you guys are chicken. You always make me do the gross part, huh? <laughs> it's, it's still, it's very warm. But if you mold it into something and then let it sit for about two days, it will harden. And so we can make something for our fairy garden. We've been, what have we been making for our fairy garden? What did we make the other day? We made snails, dragons. dragons. How about fairies and um, gnomes? Did we make gnomes? And snakes. And snakes and mushrooms. This would make a good mushroom. It's, and it's still a little bit warm, so it's kind of hard to mold together. But as you can see, it's sticking together. And if I made a mushroom shape, I don't know if you could paint this or not. Look. If I made a shape like a mushroom or a snail or a gnome or something, and then let it sit for two days, you could put it in your fairy garden. All right, so that's our moldable plastic. Bye. Bye.